Welcome back everybody to Twying Game, where in this video is part two of Black Desert Mobile. Now I'm going to take you guys through the ins and outs of the game so that you guys know what to do next. Alright, so here we have the three lines. After you click on the three lines, what you can see is there is a bunch of options to choose from. First, we'll start off with my information. So with the my information, you have all the information of your character. As you can see, my character is a Valkyrie. My combat CP, my family base, my character base, and all that information. You can actually check your character CP and see where it's all coming from. And if you see right in the middle here, you can see what I'm wearing for my character. I do have some specials here like the rabbit bunny ears for signing up early as well as the Valkyrie Verdon for signing up early. You also have the task list like your daily tasks. I haven't done any of those today. My town tier, my work my, how many workers I have to compared to how many I can so I can actually hire one so I can show you guys how that's done as well as the arena ranking it's my life skills life skills is actually a very interesting one you raise those up by actually doing them so kind of like in World of Warcraft where if you go fishing enough you'll raise your fishing skill and so on and so forth so these are my titles so far now if I jump out of here this little door at the top here, confirm. I'm leaving my little base camp. So this is like your little safe haven area. And now I'm in the fighting area and you can see all my attacking and stuff like that in the corner. And then it turns into a tent. Get lightstone, your base camp. Let's go back to here. You can see we go into, into black spirit. My black spirit is growing a little bit bigger because I fed him lots. Getting a little chubby there, aren't you little black spirit? Let's go into leveling up perks. So see as my black spirit is level 14, so this is my leveling up perk. And the higher you go, the more perks you will get. Now this is actually pretty unique here. This is the light stone. Equip it. I finally got all four. All right. So as you can see on the bottom here, the uh, equip effects. These are the light stones that I have on there thus far. And those are the effects that it is giving me. As you can see, I don't have any light stones available to fuse. But you could fuse them to make them stronger. Let's go into dark energy. So if I use like these stones here. Do, do, do. Confirm. You will level up, which makes him stronger, which raises our CP. Very important. Black Spirit is very important. This is our Black Spirit's quest here. With the Black Spirit's quest, you usually accept the first one, and then after the first one is completed, it'll automatically go to the next one. For this one, I would usually do it as uh, putting your character on auto, and they just be auto attacking in a place where monsters respawn quickly, and just uh, go about doing something like making yourself lunch or something. It actually doesn't take too long. Or you can just uh, click on a quest where you're supposed to be attacking monsters. Then you're doing two quests at the same time. That is also good. Let's go to Enhancing Force. So with Enhancing Force, you actually make your stuff stronger like your sword play. So if I click here, I have 65% success rate. Whereas if I add this, this is a, like 96% success rate. So why not just try that? Heck yeah, look at that. Easy peasy. Now, uh, as you can see, I only have 13 of these left, but not just this one is going to be for all of them. There's actually different stones for different kinds of things. It's mostly like, uh, as you can see, the list on the side left here are different kinds of stones. So there are red stones, and then there's blue stones. And then these are your equipment. So like your attack and your defense are red stones, and then the rest of them are pretty much blue stones. Um, your rings, you can actually use other rings and necklaces for that. Now let's go to equipment crystal. For equipment crystal, you can actually attach a crystal, which also makes you stronger. Let's attack, attach this crystal here. Actually, let's attach... Yeah, let's attach this one. I have lots of... So now that I have attached the crystal, I have a plus two in d my defense. Now let's jump over to Fuse Crystals. As you can see, he's just giving me a little how-to on how to fuse crystals. Yes, everything costs silver. So let's pick three crystals to fuse here. So 
So as you can see, we can't uh, fuse two of the same or two of different grades. So you see that this one has a green outline and these two have regular, I guess you would say gray outline. I can't fuse them. So if I put these two together, but I would still need one more. So I can't do any more fusings today. But uh, when I get more crystals, I'll definitely get up to that. So this is the transfer enhancements. So it's actually quite interesting. So I could like, I can't use anything that's already equipped and I don't have any enhancements to uh, do. But if I had unequipped my sword and then put my sword here, I can transfer the enhancement to a different sword. Get stronger. So this gives you like a quick uh, how to's on getting stronger. Things that you can do to make it quicker. Equip crystals. It's saying that I haven't equipped crystals to all my stuff yet. So that's why it's just prompting me to do it. It's always going to prompt me to do stuff to make sure that I am doing the best I can for my character. Which is actually kind of nice because sometimes I forget about certain things. And that's pretty much all it is about the Black Spirit. But uh, let's get out of the Black Spirit here. And see what us next. Tasks. Tasks are always important. Now I can claim them all one by one or I can just press the claim all button. Of course, I haven't done any daily tasks today, but because I just came on so that I can show you guys everything we need to do. This is the bell. Uh, with the bell, you can actually, it tells you things that you could do today. So if I click pet training, I have finished my pet training. I can train my pet again, but I don't have any books at the moment. Uh, with your pet, uh, you could feed him. Keep your pet full or they will run away. Don't want to do that. What a good puppy. So this here is uh, a percentage of what you have things done so far. So this is my character thing. See reward. Yeah. I have lots of things that I still need to do. So many. Ooh, look, see, now I'm at 2%. And as you complete these tasks, you'll end up getting more rewards. So this one, as soon as I complete this task, I will get the expert shield throw. Uh, so that it'll I can level up my attack. Let me take you to Shikatu's gear shop. As you can see, I have 10 gold coins. This is what I can spend my gold coins on. Like looking out to check the weather every day. Aren't you curious to see what you will end up with? I'm always curious to see what I'll end up with. So this costs 8, this costs 9, 6, 7, 6, and 10. As you can see at the bottom, you can see green, 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 blue, green, green. If I click on my pack, I can see what I'm wearing at the moment. So this one is uh, like uncommon, where all the rest of my other stuff is just kind of common equipment. So instead of getting a hat, let's get something else. Oh, awesome. I don't think I needed that at all. Is it any better than what I'm wearing? It's the exact same one. Gosh darn it, it didn't help me at all. But that's okay, you actually get gold coins as you go into battle. Uh, in certain battles. Uh, I will show you, like... Oh, where am I? Uh, if you click on the bottom corner here, you can actually have your top view of your area. Oh, I have a little quest going on over here. Let's run over there. So she wants me to plant gardens, uh, uh, seeds in my garden, which is just down here. I don't think I have any seeds though. Oh, look at that, I do. At least they'll be ready for when I come to talk about this area. As you can see, this is my stamina. It's at uh, 137. And it'll actually start increasing as you collect more knowledge. So this is knowledge. And with knowledge, um, there's knowledge of areas, knowledge of bosses, and challenges. Ooh, I have stuff to claim. There's also knowledge of people. So there's some people I haven't talked to yet, so they're not on here. This is boss knowledge. So if I check here, this is information on the boss. I've gotten to level two. So far I can go all the way up to level 23. So there's a bunch of different kinds of knowledge. And when it, if you wanna go into it and see what's going on about it, you can actually click the learn more button 
and see which ones that you have acquired and which ones you have not acquired yet. Anyways, this game has so much more to offer, so I'm going to actually have to make a part 3 to it. This is Twy in Game. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Also, hit that notification bell. This is Twy. Out.